guys, what is up? Today's video is part three of our movie anniversary pin series. Hey guys, what's up? If you're new, my name is Brittany. Today is part three of our movie anniversary pin series. I will leave one and two as well as the whole playlist to this little series that I'm doing in the description below. In today's video, we will be talking about six different movies. The first movie we are going to be talking about is Monsters, Inc., which came out in 2001, which is crazy. I feel like that was still like just a few years ago. It's nuts. So the first pin I'm going to show you is this really adorable Mike Wazowski. So he technically has books in his hands, so I don't know if this is considered only a Monsters University. Um, and he is wearing that hat, but I'm counting it for this movie. <laughs> Next two pins are from the same little mystery series, and it was another one of those magical mystery pin series packs where only one pin um, comes in the in the pack and you, you open it and there's just one pin. <laughs> um, but we end up getting the little duo and uh, we got Mike and Sully. Next pin is a little Tsum Tsum of Mike. I'm realizing we have a lot of Mike. Wazowski pins. Next is a little hidden Mickey from Disneyland and it's of Sully's little cute grin. I love his little teeth sticking out. Next pin is a open edition pin. It says, we scare because we care. The next one, this was a really cool pin that Liz's old boss gave her, which is really, really cool. And it is just Mike and Sully and they're like peeking into Boo's door. And it is a limited edition of 5,000. And the last Monsters Inc. pin we have, I think this is just a regular um, pin on pin open edition. And it is, of course, Mike and Sully. So that is it for Monsters Inc. Now, technically, next would be two other films um, that came in the order of when they came out. But I unfortunately don't have any pins from these movies. I was really hoping that I would but I never got my hands on any. Um, so the next movie would have been Treasure Planet that came out in 2002. And then the next film would be Brother Bear, which I actually really liked Brother Bear. Um, Treasure Planet, I don't really care for that movie that much. Don't come for me. I know a lot of people don't like it, but I know there's people who love it. And I do agree there needs to be more representation for the people that love it. It's just not my thing, but I still would like a pin from it, at least one, because I'd like to just collect all Disney movies. But Brother Bear I need to have, because I really love that movie, and I just haven't gotten any. So unfortunately, we're going to have to pass on those two, but we're moving right into another great film. And it is The Incredibles that came out in 2004. I only have a couple pins to show you because the other ones I have, again, I've shown for the sequel, which came out a couple months ago. I think that was in our June videos. Um, so I only have a couple pins, but they're still pretty fun. So the first pin I'm going to start out with is my favorite character from The Incredibles, which is Edna Mode. This is such a fun pin. It says, no caps. And uh, the O in no is her head. I don't remember if I shown this one for the part two, but I figured I would share it just in case you missed it. And it is little Jack Jack that says pure potential. In the very last pin for the Incredibles, I really like, I have so many pins you guys, but this is just proof that I definitely have a lot more in certain collections than others. <laughs> but I do have some representation. This next one is a limited edition and this one came from uh, Disney Studio, Disney Hollywood Studio Store. I always get that messed up. Um, and it's an Ellie of 400. And it's Mr. Incredible with his, what is, is it, an Incredible? Is that what it's called? His really cool car. If it wants to focus, there we go. I don't know if you can see, but it like takes up almost my whole palm. And that is it for Incredibles. We are moving along. Oh wait, there's another movie that I don't have pins for. And that movie is Chicken Little, but I think everyone can agree with me. That is one of the worst Disney movies ever made. <laughs> I'm sorry, it just is. I still would like a pin of it, but I'm like not gonna go out of my way to trade a really nice pin for one 
or to really go buy one for a, you know a lot of money like if someone's giving away one for free or really cheap <laughs> then maybe but I don't have any of Chicken Little either, unfortunately. But Chicken Little still existed, so we have to talk about it. Chicken Little came out in 2005. All right, we talked about it. Next film is one of my favorites, Enchanted, and that came out in 2007. It's another one of those films that have such a great soundtrack. It's so cute, the animation, but then the live action, the actors are great, Ugh, all around great film so like I said I only have two but they're awesome nonetheless so this first one was my very first enchanted pin and I freaked out when I got it and it has Giselle and this is the scene where she is building her little prince out of a bunch of household items and it's got this really pretty like seafoam sparkly green background and then a heart a uh, frame around it made out of roses. Can we just talk about Amy Adams too? She's literally everything, like her acting, her vocal skills, everything. She's just perfection. And my next and last pin is again a favorite that I freaked out when I got, and it is of Nerissa, the evil queen. And that is it. <laughs> We are moving on to the next movie again. The next movie is Bolt, which came out in 2008. So I do have a couple pins, but only a couple. So the first one, I've shown this semi-recently, and it is of Bolt. And the next and last pin is a Hidden Mickey from the Doghouse uh, series. And it's just a little doghouse with a Mickey and a lightning bolt, and it says Bolt. The next film though, I do have quite a bit that I can share with you. And the next one is Tangled, which came out in 2010. Tangled is one of the best Disney films, I think, that has ever been made. Again, the music was so good, the animation was phenomenal, and the story was just so stinking cute. So many lovable characters, whether they're bad or good, you just could not help but love everyone in that film. I do have quite a bit. Um, and I do have a couple different um, characters, which is kind of fun. So the first one I'm going to start out with is this book pin. I believe the series is called like Pop Up Book or something like that. So it says Disney's Tangled. And then when you open it, this is my favorite scene. And it is uh, Rapunzel and Flynn Rider. I think it's really funny that like everyone still calls him Flynn Rider, even though we all know his name's not really Flynn Rider, but we still call him that. It's just what we do. <laughs> and inside says, once upon a time Rapunzel met Flynn Rider, see he even says it in here, who promised to take her out of her lonely tower to see the floating lanterns that journeyed into the sky each year on her birthday. This is a really fun pin and it is Ellie of 4000. Next pin is a pin of Mother Gothel, one of the best characters in this movie hands down. To be honest with you, I feel like this is a fake pin, this is a scrapper, but it was my first Mother Gothel pin and I just wanted it so i'm still holding on to it um it came out in 2016 and it's supposedly an ellie of 1000 i'm not sure if it is but and it's a little zoom zoom of mother gaffel next pin is a uh rapunzel pin from a little booster pack i really like this one her face is super sweet on it and she's just thinking about those lanterns i have a uh, rapunzel crown from the little crown series that came out. All the different princesses had crowns. Next we have one of those lanterns that we were just talking about that she sees. This one also, to be honest with you, might be a scrapper also, but I don't care. I have one of the little nesting dolls from a mystery set. I do have this whole set, but I gotta say she's one of my favorites in it. I love how little Pascal's on there and her and him are just wrapped up in her hair. It's just so stinking cute. Next is a set that came together and it is Flynn and Maximus. Again, one of my favorite characters, Maximus. He is so cute. And they came together. They were just a little open edition set. The next pin is again, one of my favorite characters in this and one of my favorite pins because it's just so adorable. It's little Pascal. And the very last pin I have for Tangled is a Mother Gothel pin. This was one of the um, Essence of Evil 
and they were little like potion or perfume battles. I really like this because you could see right at, up at the top is her little flower that she um, uh, used to sing to that Rapunzel later, you know, got the powers from. Um, so that's right up at the top and then there she is right on the front of the battle and the bottom says eternal youth. So you drink this little fancy potion, you'll uh, live forever. And that is it for Tangled. Moving on to our very last film, which is Wreck-It Ralph, which came out in 2012. I don't know about you guys, but I love Wreck-It Ralph. I thought it was such an ingenious, creative, amazing movie idea. Like I just thought it was so cool and so clever. I thought the second one was clever, but uh, I didn't love it. <laughs> I didn't really love it that much. I do gotta say I love the little princess scene though. That was pretty cool. So the first pin I'm starting out with is Wreck-It Ralph and uh, Penelope. I really like how they're drawn on this too. I just love the way it was designed. It's super cute, super different. She's still got all her little details in her hair and he's just like living his best life. Next is a pin that came out this year, which is one of the uh, sport cards. I, I always forget the names of things. This one is Vanellope and she is representing racing. So many colors on this pin, so many details. Right there at the bottom it says racing and then up at the top corner it says her signature. Next we have a little soda pop can. Uh, this was from the soda pop mystery collection and it says power up punch. One of my favorite little details that is on these pins, I say this every time, but I just think it's so clever. They put right at the bottom, net contents 11.12 ounces, AKA November 2012. And the very last pin is perfect for this time of year since it's around the corner, it feels already. And it is uh, Ralph and Vanellope and they are in her little decked out Christmas car and looks like they're going on a a uh, sleigh ride but a car ride <laughs> and that is it for our part three of this series let me know in the comments below are you guys enjoying this series do you like seeing the pins we're like half done at this point I believe which is crazy maybe actually more than halfway that's nuts we're almost done so that is it for today's video let me know in the comments below if you can which pin was your favorite if you can't answer that or don't remember that's okay let me know in the comments below which movie was your favorite just to recap there was monsters inc there was treasure planet brother bear the incredibles chicken little enchanted bolt tangled and wreck it ralph so let me know which one of these was your favorite. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't done so already, please consider hitting that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. That way you know every single time I post. And if you hit it now, you'll be notified when part four comes up so you won't miss it. And make sure you hit that like button down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you in the next video. Peace.